And so this idea that grief can also travel through ancestral lines so that the grief that you might end up carrying was never part of your personal story. It was just grief that never got expressed. And so there's a way that grief can move in our, our body and our DNA and in our energetics through ancestral lines looking for a way out. The word ancestral grief has to do with the field of grief that if your great-great-grandmother was killed tragically and in that time they did not know how to grieve. There were not the the structure or the rituals or the, uh, the choreography in place to, to create a container to bring this grief forward, then that grief goes underground in the family system and starts to move through generations. And so I say when, when grief uh, is necessary to be expressed, if it doesn't get expressed, it will itself start looking for someone that is willing to channel it. And who, whoever that happens to be, often in a family system, it's often the most vulnerable person in the system, which can be a child or an adolescent, but grief starts looking for a way out. It's what in some uh, sacred traditions they might call the hungry ghost. So this energy of grief starts moving like a, a river underground, trying to find the access route to move toward the light, to move toward healing. A story one time I was working with a 17-year-old that had been brought to me in a, a wilderness rehab center. He'd already made it a choice to start using drugs and alcohol to medicate his his uh, emotion. And when I met with mom and dad, I actually had this the sense of an older man standing beside mom and an older man standing beside dad, kind of intuitive hunch. And so I asked mom a question about what her life was like when she was around 17 or 18. And he said, well, my, my dad committed suicide when I was 17. And then when I was talking to dad, I asked a similar question. And he said, well, my granddad committed suicide when my dad was around 18. Now their son who just turned 17 and before that period had not had any issue, did great in school, was on the soccer team, doing beautifully with his grades and socially all of a sudden took this dive and now was sitting in front of me out in the wilderness because he had chosen drugs and alcohol to medicate this pain. And what I realized is there's a lot of unacknowledged grief in this family family system that's moving through and has landed on this 17-year-old. And it's not even his. It belonged to mom and dad and belonged to the ones before them. So grief has a way of looking for a way out across generations.